you just joined us, you listen to the Call Cleave Atlanta Real Estate Show. Uh, we're going to start with our market update, our real estate market update for the metro Atlanta area. 6,800 closings in June of 2016, which is about the same as June of 2015. 1,375 single-family detached, excuse me, attached closing, condos and townhomes, which is up 2% over the same month last year. Sales prices in the month of June for single-family detached, that is something that's not attached to a unit, uh, either a townhome or a condo, uh, were up 3.4% to 293,000, almost 294,000 in uh, residential attached units. Sales prices were up 4.8% to an average of 223000 And Alfie, it was not long ago that that average was 123000 for those condos and townhomes. It is amazing how much prices have increased over the last few years. Year to date, there have been 33,200 single-family detached closings, 9% ahead of this time last year. There have been 7,200 condos and townhomes sold in Atlanta, which is also 9% ahead of the same period in 2015. Average sales prices year to date are up 4.4% for the residential detached units to an average of 278,000. And in the worst part of the market, that number was below, Alfie, 200,000 was below 200000 so we've had some serious increase in the last few years. Average sales price of a condo and townhome year-to-date, 219800 which is 4.4% ahead of this time last year. 21500 homes on the market available for sale in the single-family detached, which is 2% less than this time last year, and townhomes and condos, 2750 on the market for sale, which is a 5% drop versus 2015. Took an average of 62 days to sell a detached unit. So if your house has been on the market for more than 62 days and it's not under contract, you need to start thinking about what you need to do to get it under contract because something's wrong. Took only 48 days, Alfie, to get the average townhome or condominium under contract. Wow. Think about this. In the month of June, Alfie, there were 13,000 townhomes, condos, and single-family detached homes that were listed on the market just in the month of June alone, compared to 11,900 the year before. So we've got a little bit more inventory coming on the market, but we have less inventory. Uh, we have less inventory right now than we had this time last year, which is what's making it still a seller's market.